Good day, folks. So today I've got something a little bit different for you. However, it is still very relevant because it's to do with editing drone photography. We're going to take a look at some software that was just released today by Skylum. I've used some of their software in the past, most notably their Aurora HDR photography for editing HDR photos. They've just released for pre-order a new title called Air Magic, and basically it takes all the hassle and the headaches out of editing your drone photography. So let's go in, we'll take a closer look, and we'll see what it's all about. So I've been using the software now for about a week. I was able to get a pre-release copy of it just for uh, test purposes. Now this is automated software specifically for editing drone footage. If you're a person who just likes to fly and take photos with your drone, but maybe you don't have the time or maybe the skill to edit those photos that you see on Instagram and Facebook groups, those really stunning aerial photos, this software can do it all for you very quickly and easy. So let's go in and we'll just take a quick look at it. This is their uh, kind of preview landing page for the software. And you can see there as I slide it over, just what an incredible job it can do. So let's go ahead and we're gonna launch the software here. When you launch it, you come to this page first. This is basically where you can open all the photos that you wanna edit. You can open multiple files at once, so you can do a lot of batch editing to make things quick and simple. So before I open up some of my own photos, I'm gonna open up their sample photo that comes bundled with it for you to play around with. You can see there it's analyzing the photo. And then there you go. You can see the before and the after. So as you can see, it does a really good job. If you look up in the clouds there, you know, this is still a nice photo, but once it's been processed, you can see just how much more detail and dynamic the sky is, just much more dramatic. The colors just pop, it's not as hazy. That's one of the uh, features of this software is that it can uh, dehaze your photos, which can get rid of a lot of detail. Now this button here, you can see the little picture of a paintbrush. If we click on it, we can turn down the processing or turn it up more. So if you think it was a little too much, you can just slide it down. Or if you want it a little more extreme, you can bump it up a bit. Now this button here allows us to set some different styles. So if we click on it, you can see it has a collection of styles there. And we can click on one of them and it's going to redo the image. And there we go. You can see that looks nice as well. A little bit more blue tones in there. Over here we have a plus button. Now I'm assuming they're going to be selling different style packs at some point. Now I'm not 100% certain because like I said, I'm recording this before the software is actually released. So they don't really have all that set up yet. But to me that signifies that yes, you will be able to add some new uh, styles down the road. So as you can see, it does an excellent job. And uh, just like that, you'll be able to upload them to your Instagram or social media accounts. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open up some of my own photos here. I've got a variety from different drones. I've got some from the Spark, from the Mavic 2 Pro, the Mavic Zoom, a couple actually from the GoPro Karma. So we'll just open them up here. And you can see in this panel now, it lists all the photos that we've just imported. Now, before we get going here, I just wanna mention that to get the most of the software, it's best if you shoot in RAW. Most modern drones now are capable of shooting in RAW and the software is capable of handling them. But if you have a whole bunch of photos that were not shot in RAW, it works just as well. So for example, here's one from the DJI Spark. That's kind of DJI's entry level drone. So the photos are not as good as say something like a Mavic 2 Pro or even a Phantom 4. But uh, let's go in and we'll take a look at it here. It's gonna go in and analyze it. And there you go. And you can see right away, that actually looks really nice. You can see the image is actually quite dark here, uh, just to do with the dynamic range. The sky is really bright and the way the sun was. But you can see after it's done all its processing, it actually does a really nice job. The sky is nice and blue. There's a lot of detail in the clouds and it's brought a lot of detail out in the trees and in the water. So it did a really nice job there actually. And uh, like I said, that was just shot on a spark. So let's close that one down. And as you can see, when I close it, that one is now processed and uh, ready to be exported. So we could go and do it to the next one here. And again, you can see just how nice of a job it does. You don't have to have any kind of editing skills and it doesn't take a lot of time. Let's try one here. This one, I believe, was shot on the Mavic 2 Pro. Um, could have been the zoom, though. I'm not 100% sure. You can see how it really pops after it's been processed. Now, personally, I think it's a little too much. I think um, if we bump it down a little bit, that'll be a bit better. Actually, that just like that there. Let's go back. 
Yeah, that is perfect. You know, if I had this opened up in, say, something like Lightroom, that's pretty close to how I would edit it. So, you know, it does a really good job. So let's close that one down. And uh, let's open up a different one here. Let's uh, try this one. Actually, that did a really good job. Look at the sky there. It's nice and blue now. More detail in the clouds. And the uh, landscape is just, uh, just pops. So I would just leave that one the way it is. And uh, we'll go to the next one here. Let's try this one here. A little countryscape. Again, really nice job. Now, I'm not quite sure what it looks like for you on your end. Um, I'm filming my computer screen with my iPhone. So it, coloring could be a little off and look a little unnatural. But on my end, it actually looks really good. Sky is nice and blue. Detail in the clouds. Uh, really good job. Now, you can just see how easy this is. And you could process a whole lot of photos in a little bit of time. Um, if you're like me, sometimes, you know, you take a lot of photos, but you don't get around to editing them because you don't have time. Or like I said, maybe you don't have the software or even the skill needed to edit them in something like Lightroom. Uh, this makes the job painless and uh, does a really nice job. I'm super impressed, actually. Uh, let's try this one here. This is from my sister and brother-in-law's farm during harvest last year. And yeah, that looks really nice. Sky was a little overcast that day anyway, so it's not going to bring out a lot of detail in the sky. Uh, but the colors and the field, the golds, the greens just look uh, really nice. So once you're done processing all the photos that you've opened up, all you have to do is hit export and uh, select disk. You can set your settings there, you know, the quality, uh, the format you want. But yeah, you just export them and done. And you can go ahead and share them right away. As far as I understand, the software is going to come in about $39. Now, I don't know if that's just a special introductory price. I'm not too sure of the pricing structure yet. Do believe when you pre-order it, you're getting a better deal. Plus, you're getting some free uh, stuff here. Let's uh, go down and take a look at that. Now, this is saying Canadian dollars because I'm coming from a Canadian website. You get all this stuff for free. You get a drone photography guide ebook. You get a drone course you can take. You get a free uh, premium style. And uh, here you get a $40 discount for Loom Cube lighting. So that's a pretty good deal for the order. Another interesting thing I should show you here is that it detects what type of camera the photo was shot on. So if it was shot on a Unique, a DJI, or a Parrot drone, it'll process it accordingly because it uh, takes into account uh, different things that the camera shoots in with lens correction and that. So that's really, really handy. The next thing I want to point out here is that it runs as a standalone application like I just showed you, but it also acts as a plugin for Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Lightroom, or as an Apple Photos extension. So that's handy depending on how you want to use it. So yeah, folks, that is Air Magic by Skylum, a great little piece of software for those who don't want to spend a lot of time editing their drone photography. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.